With finals and graduation upon us, we show you how UTRGV student athletes keep their grades up, leading to the first UTRGV student athlete to earn her degree. Laura Van Tilburg is just a sophomore, but it might be more accurate to call her a senior. We show you why. And we get to know UTRGV track and field's throws coach, Jamie Bennett. All that and more coming up inside this edition of V Nation. That's V for Bali. V for victory. And V for Barcado. Hey everyone and welcome to V Nation, I'm Jonah Goldberg. It's finals week at the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley, which means students across campus are using every available minute to cram as many nuggets of knowledge as they can into their brains. Luckily for the student athletes at UTRGV, when we say the V is for victory, we don't just mean in athletics, but academics as well. Michael Aguilar reports. The Victory Center is specifically for student athletes to help them grow throughout their years here and their semester here at, at the university with academic support. The Victory Center is located at the Academic Services Building on the second floor. The center gives student athletes a quiet place to study, do homework, and have different materials available to them. The center allows uh, us student athletes to manage our time, uh, a, place, a, a place to go to, to get things done, you know, we have a busy day, we either might live on campus or off campus, but give us a location to get our things right, to manage ourselves. We have excellent counselors and we can just manage our day better. We meet with the student either on a weekly, bi-weekly or monthly basis for support on academics, any tutors, anything that uh, may happen during their personal life, anything that they need assistance with, they'll, um, my job is to make sure that they succeed. It helped me because I can come here and just and get my work done and get out, you know, instead of going to the library, like I said, where sometimes computers not available, you know, here I know it's always space and a computer available for me, so do what I need to do in there, you know, and get out. It's not a, a social hour or anything like that. It's strictly, strictly for one thing, you know, to come and get your work done and, and not be bothered. I like that it's easily available, that it's accessible, that, uh, of course, it's open from the morning to nighttime. They just extended uh, from last year. It closed, I think, at 7.30 or 8. Now they moved it to 9. So that allowed us more freedom, especially students with night classes like me I had last year. So it allowed more freedom, more accessibility to get my work done. Over the summer, UTRGV made some renovations to allow the Victory Center to move into a bigger space, create more room for the student athletes. The area is about three times the size that we previously had. I do see them focusing a lot more. There is a little bit more area for them to spread out and use the facility, as well as being able to talk amongst each other with the tutors. Where we were at before, there was a lot of students that were already gathered there, already and the regular students, non-student athletes. There were a lot of them were already located in that area, in the LAC. Moving it here sort of isolated us away so we could be more focused and uh, it's more comfortable, as, like I said before, and we can all get our stuff done in a timely manner. So we have more computers to work with. Uh, we have more counselors. It's, just a, it's a good location for us to all meet up. The center also has different programs that are available to the students. We do have tutors that come in at night. We understand that student athlete schedule is pretty hectic during the day. So we do have a math tutor, a science tutor, and a business tutor available to student athletes at night. We are currently bringing on another advisor on board to help with the student athlete support, along with more programs on, available for student athletes, more um, support for the student athletes with the new center. And they care about us. They want us to get not only succeed athletically, but they want to succeed academically, which is the purpose of being at a university, to succeed academically. And they care about that. So they want us to, to, to push ourselves, to make sure we have great grades, to manage our time, so writing our planners and to be on time and, and get good grades. For V Nation, I am Michael Aguilad. One student athlete that put in plenty of time at the Victory Center is Haley Durham, who is set to graduate on Saturday after just three and a half years. Durham is the first student athlete to compete under the UTRGV moniker to graduate. Stephen Lopez has the story. 
UTRGV's very first semester is coming to a close, with many students going on to graduate. Among the graduating class is UTRGV women's volleyball player Haley Durham, UTRGV's very first student athlete to graduate. I am the first in my immediate family out of my brothers and sisters and my parents to graduate from college. So that's, you know, that's a big accomplishment. It's been awesome, you know, having to do the transition from, this, from, from UTPA to UTRGV and, um, you know, and, and being that first class to actually graduate, it's been like an honor to represent the school, like this, the brand new university that, you know, going through the process and being the first one to come out. So it's been awesome. Majoring in rehabilitative services, Haley hopes to pursue a job in the field later on in life. Well, originally I wanted to go into physical therapy, but I ended up going into this major and discovering like a whole new side of like um, what rehabilitation is. So, you know, it kind of made me love it more and I, I've been around it all my life. You know, it's more of like, um, like right now, it's more of like mental health counseling and substance abuse counseling. That's what I'm going to be going into later on in life. Haley's experiences in women's volleyball have not only been exciting, but have also been a part of preparing her for the road ahead. From time management to cramming to being able, you know, being able to do everything on the road, like, you know, having a team to fall back on, like another family being away from home. Um, there's just so many things being an athlete, you know, representing your school in, in a way that no other person can. Just having that image and, like, being able to, like, look, have others look up to you, it's just... It's prepared me to go into life confident and knowing I can do what I can do. After graduation, Haley will continue her education as well as continuing to play volleyball. I am going to be attending the university or Houston Baptist University to, to get a master's in counseling. I'm going to be attending their school to play sand volleyball. So that's going to be my life after graduation. Volleyball is not over yet. With one chapter closing and another about to begin, Haley will always remember her time at the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. You know, it's been a great experience here, being here for, you know, four seasons, three and a half years. Like, I wouldn't have chosen another way, another path. So, it's been awesome. Reporting for V Nation, I am Stephen Lopez. Durham is one of eight student athletes graduating this fall, along with Omar Doria, Jesus Garcia, Troy Green, Sherelle Price, Rebecca Rodriguez, Megan Shaw, and Leo Kwan Williams. Congratulations to all of them. I think I speak on behalf of everyone at UTRGV Athletics when I say we're proud of you, and we cannot wait to see what you achieve. It can take an average person anywhere between four and six years to complete an undergraduate degree. Some people get it done in three, but two? Coming up inside V Nation, the Wiz Kid, Laura Van Tilburg. We strive to achieve excellence through determination and hard work. We are committed to learning from those around us. Our professors and peers. Our coaches and teammates. And our opponents. We compete with integrity and passion. And we seize our moment when the opportunity arises. We take pride in our communities. And believe that we can inspire others just as they have inspired us. We may wear different colors, but we share the same purpose. We learn, we compete, we inspire. We are the Western, Western Athletic, Athletic Conference. Conference. UTRGV women's basketball sophomore forward Laura Van Tilburg is a sophomore only because she's in her second year of college. But if you look at how close she is to earning her bachelor's, it seems more accurate to call Van Tilburg a senior. Michael Aguilar has the story. It was kind of great knowing that once I started college, I kind of already wanted to know what I wanted to do with my life. So or I'm getting my major in kinesiology with a minor in biology. I'm going towards an athletic training route. And so since I'm graduating in two and a half years, I'm gonna try and get my master's here. I'm not too sure on what I wanna do yet, but then that way I can play my um, years of eligibility for basketball. And then I wanna go get my doctorates in physical therapy. 
I've always grown up where my family always taught like academics first. So if I wanted to go hang out with friends on a weekend, it was always, did you get your homework done? Did you do your spelling words or anything like that? So I've always learned to put academics first and I think that that's the reason for where I'm at today. Like I owe it all to my parents. But growing up, like I had my older brother and he was super smart and he always had good grades. And it was like when he entered high school, he took all these classes, got credit for them. So when he transferred over to his school in San Antonio, like everything kind of fell into place. And he graduated in the four years, but it kind of got him more ready. So when I was asking him for advice on what to do when I started high school, he told me just take as many college classes as you can. They'll pay off in the end. And it, it really is. I finished pretty much all my maths, all my English, all my history, and I even took some biology classes in high school. So when I came over here, everything just transferred over and I was already a sophomore, almost a junior. I love science, that's definitely my favorite subject. And by going into kinesiology, there was a way that I could kind of get into the coaching atmosphere, a little bit of athletic training, teaching, and then it's kind of just what I wanted to do. And I kind of got to find my own path like that. And through that, I saw that I really wanted to do physical therapy. I've just grown up the athletic person, the one who's always played in sports. I mean, I played baseball with the boys, I played softball with the girls. So I've just had this like love for sports and I think that going this way and going through my major, I get kind of like the best of both worlds. Right now for the fall semester, I'm taking six. So I'm taking 16 hours. Well, for basketball, they usually tell us to take 15, around 15, so if you end up having trouble with the class and you have to drop or something, you'll still be set because you have to have 12 hours for eligibility. So, like, 15 hours, it's okay. I can handle that. I I'm, I'm kind of want to take 17 in the spring just so I can see if I can handle another class. I mean, I'm pretty sure I can. I feel I've do done a pretty good job. Um, I think that I just have my priorities in check. I know what's important and what I need to put first. So I know that I'm a student athlete, so a student comes first. So I always gotta put my grades first, make sure I'm on top of things. And then basketball, because that's what I'm at this university for. And then after that comes my social life. I'm really lucky that I got a lot of teachers that are working very well with me, that I can email them. And um, if I come back late from a trip, they can postpone my quiz or my exams to the following week so I can get a little bit of extra studying in. That's, that's just the hardest part, is being able to manage my basketball uh, practices and everything that has to do with basketball with my academic life, with my social life, kind of mending all three together. For the rest of my plan, I'm looking at graduating next December. I'm gonna try and start my master's that following spring once I graduate. Uh, I'm gonna see what kind of master's programs work with that schedule. So I'm gonna finish playing basketball for my four years and then after that I'm gonna start applying to a bunch of universities that have a doctorate level program for physical therapy. So I either want to get like an emphasis on pediatrics, work with children, or in sports medicine since I'm, I have like a dire obsession with sports. So either one of those two kind of ways and then from that I kind of want to work in a clinical setting, maybe like a hospital or maybe even open up my own like private practice. UTRGV women's basketball closing out a seven game road trip at Kansas State. And Shante Goff gets the Vaqueros off to a good start. A little over a minute later, game tied at three, when Bernicia Peters dials up long distance. And Mary Savoy knocks down the jumper. The Vaqueros lead 8-3. The Wildcats respond with a 19-6 run, but midway through the second quarter, the Vaqueros push back. First, it's Adil Turk, then Anushka Maldonado from way downtown. And then she does it again. The Vaqueros are within two. Maldonado finished with four threes and a career-high 14 points. Second half now. It starts much like the first. Goff brings the Vaqueros within 24-23, and then, after a Wildcats basket, it's Raquel Preston's turn. The Vaqueros are still within one, but the Wildcats close the quarter on a 16-4 run to pull away for a 61-43 victory. Here's a look at the WAC non-conference standings. UTRGV returns from a 10-day finals break looking to complete a season sweep of Incarnate Word Thursday at 7 before visiting Houston Sunday at 1. UTRGV men's basketball playing host to the University of Tennessee at Martin Skyhawks. Before the game, Shaq Hines honored for scoring his 1,000th career point the previous week. And then, four minutes in, Hines grabs his 500th career rebound. 
becoming the 12th player in program history to join the 1,500 club and just the second with 60 blocks to boot. I mean, it's, it's definitely a blessing, you know. Um, uh, when I came here, I didn't, I didn't expect none of this. I didn't expect to be, you know what I'm saying? Like you say, reach those milestones. So it's definitely a blessing. I can't do nothing but thank God. And I thank God I stay healthy, you know. Now, the Vaqueros trailed by eight at halftime, but the Vaqueros made some lineup changes and they paid immediate dividends. Walter Jones with the layup here. And then Chris Aquinebe finds his way inside. Jones and Aquinebe providing quite a spark. And then Shaq Hines connects. It's a 7-0 run. The Vaqueros are within 34-33. Midway through the second half, Vaqueros down three, but it's J.J. Thompson. Good in the foul. Thompson converts the three-point play, game tied at 51. With 6.20 remaining, Hines hits a pair of free throws to give the Vaqueros a 59-58 lead. But the Skyhawks respond with a 13-2 run to pull away for a 72-64 win. We had some uh, open looks, you know, we just missed a lot of shots. We just got to focus more and knock the open shots down. But we had open looks. We was getting what we wanted mostly all night, so we just got to knock those shots down. You know, I thought Aquinnah Bay gave us great energy, and, and uh, you know, unfortunately I didn't stay with him. Uh, you always feel like when you're playing down the stretch, you want to play with the Warriors, the guys that have been in there and, and give them that opportunity. But Chris earned time tonight, and uh, uh, most of his minutes were in the second half. and. You know, hindsight's 2020. 20. I kind of wish I'd have stayed with him now, but uh, it's uh, part of it. And then Walt came in and gives you energy. And uh, I thought Walt uh, defended well. You know, he, he can't make one right now. He's struggling from the field, but but he, he does a good job defensively. UTRGV closing out the week at Texas State. Midway through the first half, Vaquero is down 10, but on the comeback trail. Dakota Slaughter lays it in. And then Adonis Rabigui follows suit. After a Bobcats basket, it's Slaughter with the jumper, and then the three. The Caros within 21-18. Early second half, the Caros down seven when J.J. Thompson hits back-to-back -back layups to bring the Caros within three. And then after a Bobcats basket, it's Thompson from downtown. It's a two-point game. And then Hines gives the Caros the lead. It's 35-34. Less than 10 minutes to go. Vaquero's down seven again. When Slaughter pulls up from long range. And then, after a Bobcats basket, Rabigwe scores, and so does Thompson. The Bobcats outscore the Vaqueros 15-6 the rest of the way to win 68-59. Here's a look at the WAC non-conference standings. The Vaqueros have this week off for finals before heading to a tournament at Utah State against the host Aggies, North Dakota State, and Idaho State. Want to get rewarded just for tweeting, Facebooking, and Instagramming about UTRGV Athletics? Maybe get bonus points for checking in at home events? Now you can. Download the VFAN Rewards app on your smartphone today. It's a free download, and you can earn points to win prizes such as backpacks, hats, shirts, water bottles, and more. Need more information? Then log on to vfanrewards.com. Last week we showed you how UTRGV track and field was gearing up for the spring seasons. Next Inside V Nation, we get to know the throws coach, Jamie Bennett. If you work in track and field, you often think of the three seasons, cross country, indoor track and field, and outdoor track and field. So if you're a throws coach, you have to wait until the indoor season to get going. Now that cross country is complete, it's time to meet UTRGV's new throws coach, Jamie Bennett. Brenda Vaca has more. The transition to the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley has brought numerous changes and improvements. Coach Jamie Bennett is one of the new faces that aids student athletes in enhancing their athletic performance. Bennett finds life in the RGV welcoming and easy to settle. It's actually pretty great. People are friendly, um, very inviting, tell me all the good restaurants to go, uh, all the good places to eat. Um, HEBs are the same. People are still very mm -hmm. nice. So I I'm liking it. Very comfortable. Coach Bennett's plans and dreams altered during her college years. Her vision for the medical field changed to a new passion. When I was at UTSA undergrad, I wanted to be a dentist. I really wanted oh. to be a dentist. And then um, throwing there, um, biology was not my friend. So um, my throws coach pulled me aside, you know, really was telling me how great my eye was and how um, 
relaxed and personable I was and, you know, told me that coaching might be something I want to look into. So that's when I started, you know, with high school and doing private lessons. And you're happy with your decision? Oh, so happy. I'm in love with coaching. I, I wouldn't want to do any other job. Meanwhile, Bennett's career path developed. Important people from her life kept her motivated. Uh, my grandparents are a big inspiration. Uh, my grandparents, both, all three of them passed uh, before they got to see me graduate. Uh, they always told me to follow my dreams and go after it and never, um, never back down. So they're very much my inspiration and the reason I keep going now. Coach Bennett is excited to form a part of the V Nation family. My goals are definitely to have conference champions. Uh, once I get my conference champions, I'll move on from there. I want to make throws on the map for, for the Valley. I want kids to want to come here and not make this a second choice school or third choice school. I want this to be the school that everybody wants to go to and people come to us for recruiting. I really think that the Valley is uh, underappreciated. I think that this school is grand coming here from another UT system school uh, undergrad. I love it. it. feels like home. I don't feel any different. I think it's something that um, I want to put on the map. Coach Jamie Bennett is thrilled to use her passion in coaching to help develop skills of student athletes and hopes that throughout her journey at UTRGV, she becomes a part of bringing pride to the Rio Grande Valley. Reporting for V Nation, I am Brenda Baca. If you want to help prepare our student athletes for excellence in life, then it's time to become a part of something bigger and support V Nation by joining the V Club. You can become a member of the V Club for just $100 a year. All of the proceeds go directly to student athlete scholarships, so visit GoUTRGV.com today to see how you can make a meaningful impact on the lives of student athletes. We strive to achieve excellence through determination and hard work. We are committed to learning from those around us. Our professors and peers. Our coaches and teammates. And our opponents. We compete with integrity and passion. And we seize our moment when the opportunity arises. We take pride in our communities and believe that we can inspire others just as they have inspired us. We may wear different colors, but we share the same purpose. We learn, we compete, we inspire. We are the Western, Western Athletic, Athletic Conference. Conference. Here's what's coming up inside V Nation over the next few weeks. UTRGV women's basketball returns from a 10-day break to host Incarnate Word tonight at 7. The Caros then head to Houston before taking another 10-day break, leading into a home game against Evangel and a trip to 19th-ranked Syracuse. The Caros open up whack play at home on January 7th and 9th against Grand Canyon in Utah Valley. As for the UTRGV men's basketball team, they take part in a three-day tournament at Utah State next week before visiting UTEP at the end of the month. The Vaqueros return home on January 2nd against Our Lady of the Lake before opening up WAC play on the road January 7th and 9th at Grand Canyon and Utah Valley. We want to thank you for stamping your passport in V Nation this week. We've got the next three weeks off, so schedule another visit for the second week of January. But until then, we leave you with the best of the best from the fall in UTRGV Athletics. Roddy, why we out here getting threes up? This is madness, man, who wouldn't want to be us? Ain't nothing to hold us down, so the bees up. Get those bees up, tell them bees up. Crowd Roddy, why we out here getting threes up? This is madness, man, who wouldn't want to be us? Ain't nothing to hold us down, so the bees up. Get those bees up, yeah, bees up. Yeah, tell them bees up. Yeah, get those bees up. Yeah, ain't nothing to hold us down, so the bees up. Saddle up in this joint. It's time to rope them for carols when you got right. We strive to achieve excellence through determination and hard work. We are committed to learning from those around us. Our professors and peers. Our coaches and teammates. And our opponents. We compete with integrity and passion. And we seize our moment when the opportunity arises. We take pride in our communities and believe that we can inspire others just as they have inspired us. 
We may wear different colors, but we share the same purpose. We learn, we compete, we inspire. We are the Western, Western Athletic, Athletic Conference. Conference.